Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for us to the channel. This video has two games for you today. Two only. Uh, one's going to be in the FE4 or 5, that uh, triple shot shit bond we have in, in the game, the tier 10 uh, British tank destroyer. And the other one is going to be in the Grill 15. Both of them great games, um, so without any further ado, let's hop straight in. And as said, the first one is going to be in the FE4005. Uh, we're looking at uh, Lola over here, uh, Lola190281 from the UN clan. And he or her, I'm not quite sure. Sure, Lola, Lola, Lola finds uh, finds himself uh, on uh, Faust in an encounter battle, which is interesting. It's an old tier ten matchup, uh, as you can see over here. E one hundred on the red team, uh, a mouse, as you can see, uh, big guns on the reds. But luckily, Lola has packed uh, the uh, what is it? The spool line, as you can see. That's uh, at the bottom, above the hit point bar. You can actually see what uh, what kind of uh, kind of consumables and provisions uh, a player is packing, and there is uh, uh, the uh, protective uh, kit, the the pudding and tea uh, by the looks of it, and the spore liner, and that's not uh, not a bad thing to pack actually on this tank because it's obviously an HE magnet. I think the turret is all it is like 30 mils on the front and 25 on the side thereabouts. It, it is. It's an HE target. Anything in terms of HE which will hit you will penetrate. Maybe even tanks like uh, like a Leopard and T5 could penetrate. And this is a bit unlucky with the shots over there on the E50 and, and on player underscore number thingy in the Progetto. And the first guy to die, who was over uh, over aggressive in a T22 medium, obviously starts 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 yelling a bit. Dream team, epic team, well done guys. And then he presses uh, escape and has over back to the garage to pick another tank. However, Lola over here is uh, is intent on playing, making this a great game. So he's going to shoot uh, an enemy once, and here we go twice. Thank you. There we go. Enemy world has been taken out. This is the beauty of this tank compared to the to, to the Death Star, uh, because this gets three shots. It's an auto loader. It is uh, mobile. It has that that great speed boost. So if you press uh, six or just tap. On the screen, then suddenly you can climb hills like uh, no tomorrow, and you have a reverse speed of I think it's like was it 25 or so, 30 kilometers per hour, pretty freaking quick. Anyways, uh, two kills for the green team, three kills for the red team. Let's start work on this E50M, shall we? Or maybe not, maybe not. Why not? Uh, well, there's only two red tanks spotted. There's no sign of the mouse. There's no sign of the Kranwagen. And as we say that, here's the Kranwagen. I'm gonna shoot him all once. And a twice, there we go. And three times for a good measure. No, not three times for a good measure. Just back up, back up, back up. 18.4 seconds on a full magazine. Uh, you shoot him, yes, shoot him anyway over here. And kill Shadani. Ricochet. The infamous player known as Rick O'Shea rears his ugly hat again. And the E50M is not taken out of the game, which is a bit of a problem because that means that this Kranfagen uh, 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 not hug is uh, is not a one-shot target now and it's not a two-shot target either. And it's auto-loader versus auto-reloader at the moment. So you can put one shot into the Kranfagen and you can shoot him twice. There we go. Thank you. But that means that uh, the tank is still a fighting machine and that means that the Kranwagen is going to reload that uh, first shell of the magazine quicker than you will be able to fully reload your magazine. But anyways, we're going to go in over here. Here we go, APCR kaboom, bye bye Kranwagen. GG says the Kranwagen, then you think, well easy, he's a nice, uh, nice ship, but then he says, easy, haha, yeah buddy, really nicely played there. Easy for sad kids. Um, it is a bit it's derogatory, it is uh, condescending, it's just rubbing it into a player saying, easy, come on. From time to time you have players which have 1k of games, they know all the maps, they are re-rolling. It is like taking the ball from, from children in the playground when you're 18, 19, you, you play at, uh, I don't know, uh, Bayern München or, or Manchester United or Barcelona or whatever, and then you stomp them uh, 0 to 10 on the playground and you go like, easy, learn to play, learn to play soccer. Honestly, guys, it's the saddest comment to make. Um, talking about sad, 
Here comes the mouse. He's gonna get shot once and uh, twice, obviously, and that one that shot's going to bounce, which is a little bit annoyed, uh, annoying. And then we're gonna shoot him again. But the mouse uh, is a bit clueless. He doesn't really know what to do. Plus, he has a dead driver. Uh, so the mouse is just just going to roll back, roll back in uh, in open terrain, mind you. So we can uh, shoot him again. We have all the time in the world. Lola has all the time in the world to reload. Engine uh, damage and repair. Shoot him again. Yes, and here we go for uh, one more shot into the back. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. we didn't penetrate the armor. We did damage the tracks, but that was a little bit, a little bit unlucky. And you might start thinking, dude, why didn't you use auto aim or or do that? I don't know. Why didn't you use auto aim? Well, the biggest problem here is the fact that the T124 is was at least um, playing because the T124 has got one kill, so you don't know where the T124 is. And being 642 in terms of hit points, that means that you're a definite one shot to the T124. And if it's going to shoot HE at your turret, I think if it will penetrate fully. Even that spore liner wouldn't help. And lo and behold, with 1 minute and 38 seconds left on the clock, there's a T-125. <laughs> there comes a shot. That's a bit annoying. One into the uh, cupola air. We're going to run away. That's what you have to do. You have to run away now. You can't choke it out against a T-124 at 1,800 hit points. The, uh, the FV has got, what is it, 460, I think, on its AP which means that if you get three max rolls, then you might be able to, to fully clip out that T124. But otherwise, it's just not going to work. And take a look at this massive carry that Lola is doing over here. 7,629 damage dealt already. Six kills. Have we seen this before? Yes, we've seen this before with Robert85 in the uh, FE215B. And, and you can see it, it's shaking hands and shaking. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yes, back up, back up, back up, and then do it again. Uh, 42 seconds left on the clock. We can shoot that T124 once. Find it. The gun depression for a little bit. Yes, come on. Once. Trolled. Bounce on the front. Here we go. One through the side. There we go. Nice shot. 462. That is a mid roll. And another one. 454. Oi, 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 oi. That's, that's the mid, mid roll. Those are average rolls. But... We've got we got a full magazine, guys. We can we can shoot him. Look at the hit points. 384 hit points left. We're going to switch to APCR because I got 390 average. We're going to miss the first shots, but but yes, 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 and <laughs> average roll. Not even an average roll. You've got 390 average on your APCR and then RNG's, RNG flips the bird to you and says, screw you, no 7 kills for you, no fun for you, no 7 kills, no uh, 8,900 something damage, you do get 2k XP as you can see, 2k base XP, but no win is going to be a draw. And just to show you that that Lola got well, well and truly uh, trolled over here. Look at this at the gun. Average, average, average damage 390. And the minimum roll is 293. And he got 312. RNG says, nope. Come back and fight another day. Yes. <sighs> Breathe, guys. Relax. Take it easy. We're gonna go for another game. You ready? Let's lock and load. Let's lock and load. We've got... Um, we've got... Other123 underscore YT in the grill 15. And we had a big, massive Hall of Fame video earlier with Robert85, obviously, in the FE215B. This is the best damage game in the grill ever. And it's going to be a little bit campy. And it's going to be people who are annoyed. And are going to say, oh, she's sitting in the bush and he was so lucky with all the red team. But this is true skill, guys. This is good. Here we go. One shot into that E75, knowing that you are going to be spotted and then back up. 
We're going to reload a bit. Here we go. Just back up and do it again. Back up, back up, back up. Yes, here we go. Could have waited maybe just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, but oh well. 769 straight through the front of the FV270 Badger. How you like that? We've dealt 1391 damage already within one minute of the game. The team is going towards the flank. We have a uh, P-tail or Leopard 1, not quite sure which one it is, but one of these tanks is uh, sniping over there, as you can see, which is the uh, the Leopard 1. Why not? There's a top tier heavy tank or the top tier medium tank. Let the PTA take the brunt of the fighting. We're going to snipe. In the meantime, uh, talking about sniping, Arder is uh, having a field day shooting this uh, Jagdpan Z100, and then this guy comes rolling in. Hello! Let me just uh, drive in front of a grill 15. Uh, yes, go for the shot on the E35. Oh, nice one, 594. And in the meantime, you can see that Arthur's taking a good look at the minimap as well. Switching back to AP because he is, yes! He wouldn't be able to, well, maybe. Maybe he would have been able to sneak a shot into the back of the T54, but not taking any chances. Going for another shot onto this Jagdpan Z100. That one definitely hit. Taking a look at the E100 at the, at the back because he's getting flanked. And can we get one more shot in? Yes, we know we cannot. Oh, why? Oh, right. Let's save the shot then and then go right up over here. Honestly, guys, this is, a, in my opinion, a big brain move. I wouldn't have done this. I, I would have been too scared. I probably would have tried to turn around and, and, and I don't know, fight the E100 for a bit maybe or make a last stand over here. Arda doesn't do that. He goes in into the cap, setting off the siren, but still moving in because he knows that the... IS-7 on the red team and the E-75 are pushing that flank, the Jagdpanzer E-100 is behind the rock and the FV-215B, the 183, is sitting right over there. Pretty healthy still, so why not go up on this ridge? You can see that the, the tables have kind of turned. They have taken, quote unquote, taken red spawn. So we're gonna aim in onto this E-75, on, onto that IS-7, for 617. And let's go forward. Let's start work on the Death Star, shall we? No, we'll just wait a bit. We'll just wait. We'll wait for Camo to reset. We're going to inform the team, guys. We're going to shoot this guy. So please get ready. Jagdpan Z1 on it. The Jaeger takes out the IS-7. The FE is not taking the bait. He's probably not coming. Let's just, let's just go around. Let's go around the corner. Easy, easy. Take your time. Is he there? Yes, he's there. Here we go. Boom. One shot into him. 726. Voltreffer. That was a big roll. That was a nice one. You could have gone for a track shot maybe, but oh well. Who am I to blame you guys? Uh, who am I to say how you should play? Because this is, this is utter perfection. Apart from that first shot, this is just knowing where to drive. And then he kills the Death Star as well. It's two versus two. SD1 uh, decided to drop down and sit in front of both an E100 and a Jagdpanzer E100. But yeah, what was he going to do anyway? That is a bit annoying over there. Snapshot onto the E100, failed to penetrate, but he's gonna roll in. Go, 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 go. Yes, keep going, keep going, keep going. AP, AP. I would have probably switched the heat, but he gets the shot. Den haben wir fertig gemacht. And that means that it's just going to be the big boys against each other. One big German gun versus another big German gun. Good roll, or was it Was it a good roll? I'm not sure actually, I think it was like 600. Bit of a mid roll onto this E100. On the turret top with HE, no with the AP, with heat. <laughs> Ooh, that was nice. You were so lucky. You were so lucky this E100 missed you. This E100 missed you. And then Ardus says, well, you know, let's do some psychological warfare. Let's send him a message. Let's let's ask him. Let me win, please. Let me win. I, I've got a lot of damage. I have a lot of damage. And this even on it uh, was like, yeah, how about a little more? And this is going to be a bit of a Mexican standoff, guys. This is this is nerve wracking. I'm, I'm I'm not kidding. This is going to be nerve wracking. The even on the sitting over there, just just pointing his uh, gun up in the air. And others just desperately trying to bait this E100 into shooting him. Just take a look at this. Just take a look. Just turn him around. Come on, shoot my gun. Shoot my gun. Shoot my gun. Look at that. I'm 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 sticking my gun out. Here's my here's my gun. Shoot my gun. Come on, E100. Shoot. Come on, E100. Can you please? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. E100 shot. He's gonna go in. He's gonna go again. Onto the turret top. Boom! With a nice heat, nice lowish heat roll, actually. 524. Average damage on that heat is 545. And is he able to get another shot into the E100? I wouldn't risk it for the biscuit, buddy, because you have a big, fat ace game up for grabs over here and three kills. 
His uh, repair packs are both back, the fire extinguisher back, that's always good. And if this E100 knows what he's doing, then he has HE loaded already to smack that right into the belly of Arda's uh, grill, because that will uh, just probably annihilate him. And the E100 is not shooting. Arda makes a move, here we go, AP, there we go, there we go, yes, yes, yes. Heat shells through, through the front, nice one, 543, a lowish roll again, gives it on fire, extinguishes the fire, here he goes, he's going for his last AP shot, no, a heat shot, oh, still an AP shot, and then this happens, Ka boom! Trolled again, trolled again, three times, lowish rolls, and the Ewan on it uses HC to kill Arthur, blows himself up, if this is another draw. Oh, holy crap. 11,149 damage dealt, the best grill 15 game I've ever seen, the best one in terms of damage, Hall of Fame ever played, 859 uh, base XP, as you can see. Oh, yo, 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 guys, <laughs> these ray plays you sent me. It is, it's epic. It is epic. I, I seriously have to do more of these types of videos, I think. Um, so, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Glitch Universe, thank you very much for watching. I catch you all on the next one. Cheers, happy tanking, bye bye.